Welcome. Good. Welcome back Thank to you. London. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Of course. I have to say, when people ask me still what was one of the best meals of my life, I will never forget the 25 course I had at your restaurant. Awesome. I don't think there is even a 25 course anymore, is there? No, actually no. <laughs> We've pared it down a bit. Absolutely. Yeah. So, it seems like you're making changes and you're actually going to shut down for a little bit and bring the show on the road and right. visit, is it Madrid and is it Miami? Are those the Hopefully. two places? Hopefully. Okay. Uh, you know, I think people don't realize what it takes responsibly and financially to um, renovate a restaurant. Uh, we have over 70 people that work at Alinea, and it's not like we can just hang a sign on the back door one day and say, you don't have a job anymore. So in order to keep them employed, we have to reopen the restaurant elsewhere in the world, or elsewhere in the United States. And um, that requires a tremendous amount of resources, right? But it's necessary. We're going to close for two months. Um, so yeah, we're, we're excited. It gives us great opportunity for inspiration and travel. The whole team gets to travel. Um, and we get to make a new restaurant. So. And do you, how do you work locally? Are you going to be using the local inspiration or are you going to bring what you have done traditionally to those places? I think both. I mean, uh, it wouldn't make any sense for us to ignore where we are in the environment and everything that's around us, right? The products, the, the people, the architecture, the culture, everything. Like, that's kind of what we do back home. So it would almost be uh, not in the spirit of Alinea if we didn't pay attention to those things, whether we're in Madrid or Miami or New York or wherever we may end up. You're going to let babies at the restaurants? <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, such a, no, it was just a funny controversy. And in terms of uh, before, after you reopen, I don't know if you can share at all, what is it that you plan on changing or doing differently when you reopen? Or even any learnings from Next or any of the cuisines are different? You know, I, I feel like all of that, okay. to, you know, not to be vague, but I think it's, it's really interesting to me when we, when we talk about Next. Um, everybody was quick to say oh, yes, sir. he's <laughs> opening his second restaurant and they have this thematically changing concept um, that's going to drag too much of his time away from millennia, but in actuality it, it fueled the innovation and creativity. We love, thai, we love doing Thai food, um, but we, you know, we, one of my favorite menus was vegan. It, it forces, it puts the chefs in a box, right? And in order to be creative, you have to fight your way out. And so by saying that we can only use vegetables and we couldn't use butter and milk and cream, it was incredibly challenging and something that we really enjoyed. And, so. and just lastly, congratulations on, first of all, having the People's War. That's Thank you. very exciting. Do you think... What do you think are the chances of awards for tonight, or who would you vote for if, you know, we have our fingers crossed for you? I, I mean, I feel like a lot of rumors are flying around, and I, and I feel like 11 Madison Park is going to place very highly tonight, and they're dear friends of ours, and, you know, we did the restaurant swap with them, and I, I, I hope they get number one, but I, I would be lying if I didn't say that every restaurant on that list doesn't hope that they'll place high. So, you know, it's just one of those things that I think um, there's going to be a major shift in gastronomy, like, starting now. In, and in what way? Stylistically, um, I have, I have a, a feeling that just like technology, just like uh, music, like art, all forms of art, 
every 10 to 15 years, there's a new focus. Call it a trend, call it a style. Use whatever word you want. But I feel like we're in that moment where it's going to shift. Daniel talked to us about going back from too many ingredients to simplification of dishes and food. Do you Are you experiencing that too? Do you see that as well? Or Not only what? that, but I, I feel like there's going to be a larger focus on looking to the past for, for inspiration. Um, the classics are going to become more important. And where, <clears throat> when Obli was open, um, and the, the idea was a divergent from that. Like, what can we create that's new and different from that classic French model? I think now everybody's going to be looking at traditional cuisine and not recreating it, but taking influences from it. And there's a lot of things when you start thinking about the serviceware, the way just the way the food was composed, that we might be able to bring into modern gastronomy that will be equally as creative. I I'm excited for that. So are we. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you.